सो हे गाइज आई एम सीट एंड टूडे एम गोइंग टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन फोक्स वैगन बीटल सो फर्स्ट हैव अ लुक एट दिस की सो दिस इज अ की ऑफ द फोक्स वैगन बीटल मे यू हैव लॉक अनलॉक एंड बूट रिलीज बटन यू गेट द फ्लिप की सो बेसिकली बिफोर स्टार्टिंग एन एक्चुअल वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू गिव वोट ऑफ थैंक्स फॉर द डेक्कन व्हील्स हु अलाउड मी टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन इट एंड बेसिकली डेक्कन व्हील्स इज नॉन फॉर इज प्री ऑन कार्स एंड इफ यू आर इन पुणे इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बाय वन ऑफ द लाइक सरी प्री ऑन कार्स देन डू विजिट द डेक्कन व्हील्स सो नॉल इज स्टार्ट द एक्चुअल वीडियो सो एट द फ्रंट यू गेट दिस फोक्स वैगन लोगो हियर अंडरनेथ दिस इज अ नंबर प्लेट एरिया हियर यू ऑल्सो गेट द पार्किंग सेंसर्स फोर पार्किंग आई थिंक फोर पार्किंग सेंसर्स आर देयर वन टू एंड वन एट दिस कॉर्नर एंड अदर ऑन द राइट लेफ्ट हैंड साइड यू डू गेट एल एडी हेडलाइन क्लस्टर विद इंडिकेटर्स एंड दिस ब्यूटिफुल डी आर एल्स यू ऑल्सो गेट द क्रोम स्ट्रिप्स विच रंस अक्रॉस द लोअर बंपर एंड यू ऑल्सो एस एम स्प्लेटर लाइक फिनिश अंडरनेथ सो दिस आर द दिस इज हाउ द बिटल लुक्स लाइक सो नाउ कमिंग टू द साइड द साइज ऑफ द टायर साइज ऑफ दिस कार इज आर सच टू वन फाइव टू वन फाइव सिक्सटी आर सिक्सटीन इंचेस दिस आर द नॉर्मल अलाइ वेज यू ऑल्सो गेट डिस्क ब्रेक नो यू गेट मैक पर्सन स्टॉट सस्पेंशन एट द फ्रंट सो हियर एट द साइड यू गेट द लेटर फॉलिंग वर्वियम्स विद इंडिकेटर्स एज वे नो दिस आर फिनिश कलर्ड इन क्रोम फिनिश सो दिस इज हाउ द एक्चुअल बेटर लुक्स लाइक फ्रॉम द साइड यू ऑल्सो गेट दिस क्रोम स्ट्रीप विच रन अंडर नी द डोर एट द साइड पैनल सो यू ऑल्सो गेट द सन रूफ नॉर्मल सन रूफ एंड शार्क फिन एंटीना लॉक हियर एट द रियर The rear tire size of this car uh, is about is 215 60R 16 inches. You get the alloy wheels. You also get the disc brake at the rear, and you get four link suspension at the rear. Now coming back, you have the LED, uh, tail light tail light cluster with the reverse light and indicator as well. You also get the boot spoiler. You also get the boot spo uh, spoiler over here, which is finished in black as well as in the body color. So now underneath the spoiler, you do get this. Uh, Fox like a magazine and also the beetle magazine. Underneath here you have the number plate area and four parking sensors for the rear. You also get the dual exhaust system for this car and they are real. So this is how the actual beetle looks like from the side. Now let's straight away move towards inside. So you also get a frameless doors and the opening of the door is by uh, is wide. So coming over here, these are the controls for the windows. As this is a two-seater car, it's a four-seater car, but uh, you have only uh, two do uh, two windows control over here. This is a speaker system, grab handle. This is lock and unlock the door. This is to open the door, and these are the controls for your war VMs. You also get the hotel heated war VMs over here. Now this is the manual adjustable seats for the driver. Now getting in is not uh, tricky because this is a low car and it's very. Easy to get inside of this car. Okay then. Now uh, this is actually uh, this is how the actual steering looks like of the Volkswagen Beetle. Now let me just set it. Now uh, here. Now you have it is uh, it has in unlocked the car. Now uh, let me just switch on the ignition of this car. Wait a second. So this is how the actual instrument cluster of this of the beetle looks like. You get the analog instrument cluster. This is how the uh, in analog instrument cluster it shows a speedometer. This is a tachometer, and on the right hand side, let me show you. Uh, on the right hand side, it shows the fuel line capacity. Now uh, you also get the central small MID under which it shows the time, your uh, gear position indicator, your odometer, your trip meter, and your temperature of the car right now. Now coming over here, these are the steering monitor. These are the steering monitor controls. Now on the left hand side, these are the controls for your instrument cluster, uh, infotainment system, not the instrument cluster. And these are the controls for your instrument cluster. And now you see, it shows the total distance, trip to, again the range of the car, uh, average consumption, consumption, travel time, a speed warning, cool, cool and temperature, each and everything. You can modify the way you want. Now these are, as I said, these are the controls for instrument cluster. Now these are the controls for your headlights. Here, this is to label the headlight and the brightness, uh, the brightness of the cabin, brightness of the cabin, 
as well as for this is speed limiter and also this is to adjust the leveling of the lights and this is the air convenience for the driver as well as over here now you get the hard plastics over here now the dashboard is finished in blue color the same color of the outer body and now coming to the central console you get this uh, infotainment uh, touch screen infotainment system though we sure suppose the android auto so here you have manual stations again you can go for the menu uh, app connect and also music media call you, you can connect the, your phone devices over here now these are the shortcut buttons which makes easy to use when you're driving here also have some space to keep your phone you get auto dimming or vm also you get the electro, uh, electric sunroof now this is how actual the cabin looks like now coming at the downside you know you get there this is automatic climate control for the of, of this car underneath the infotainment system you do get it here also shows the passenger airbag which is on or off this is the these are the controls for two auto start stop button and these are the controls for parking sensor hazard lamp switch and these are the dummy buttons underneath the buttons you do get some space uh, you have the wireless charging pad so it's not charging but it is a step in this place to keep your phone as well as you get some usb charging socket and here this is you get the 7 speed automatic or the dhg gearbox 7 speed dhg gearbox you have the start stop button is over here you get 12 volt charging socket over here now coming over here you get the manual handbrake you get two twin cup holders and you also get an armrest which can be fixed up out which can fix uh, we can, you can change the height of this uh, of the armrest the way you want at which height the armrest you want to keep the padding of the armrest is good so this is how actual the central console and the overall uh, cabin of the car looks like now before moving further here you have some uh, twin you get the twin glove box you have two glove, uh, glove box over here so you can keep some things over here underneath and as well as on the upside so the comfort of the seat is good now basically this is uh, mostly the people uh, take this car and is a little a fun to drive car so you will be very so this car has very engaging drive and you will be uh, you will uh, surely have fun while riding this car driving this car in city traffic as well as on the highways so here you get the vanity meter sunshade with the vanity meter and light for the driver sunshade with the vanity mirror and the light for the co-driver as well these are the reading lights for here you can see you get the yellow uh, reading lights and also these are the toggle to open the sunroof now this is actually how the uh, front seats looks like now let's move towards the rear let's check it out how it, let's check it out how it offers what are the rear seat space let me just Take it forward. So I am 5'11 and I don't have much space at the rear, so it is recommended for the small children. But I do have uh, ample amount of uh, headroom. Now sitting of the two people would be good. Not the uh, proper adult, but the children. It is very good for the children to be seated at the rear seats. For the rear amenities, you get that wheel charging circuit and one cup holder as well. And you also get a grab handle over here. Online, step out of this car. So, I'll take the key. Uh, so, now let's check the what is under the hood. So, now coming over here. So, so now this car has 1.4 liter TSI petrol engine. Uh, just 1.4 liter TSI petrol engine which produces about 148 bhp of power and 250 Nm of power, 1500 rpm to 3500 rpm metered with 7 speed DHC gearbox and the claim mileage is about 17.68 kmph. Now, if you want to buy this beetle, uh, towards its uh, older details now basically this car is manufactured in 2015 and registered uh, registered in 20, uh, 
January 2016. Now it is also available in, uh, with a fancy number. And the uh, cost of ownership is one. Now the overall the running of this car is about 17,000 kilometers, and uh, the price, actual price of this car at the Deccan Hills is about 32 lakhs. Now, if you really want to buy, do visit the Deccan Hills and buy this beetle. Not only beetle, any of the luxury cars. So do visit Deccan Hills. Till then, uh, now I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So don't forget to press the bell notification so that you won't miss any single upload. Till then, watch your pleasure. Take care. I'll see you soon.